This is a video about depth first search in the context of the following leak code problem. There is a school that has a certain number of students and some of those students are friends. Friendships are transitive. So if student A is friends with student B and student B is friends with student C, then student A is therefore friends with student C. Given a square matrix of friends where friends IJ is one, if student I directly is friends with student J, and zero otherwise, write a function to determine how many distinct friend circles there are in that school. So here's an example input. So three friends represented by this square matrix, that's an array of an arrays in non-maths language. And for this input, there are two friend circles because student zero is friends with student one, because you can see they have one at that point in the array and student two is alone, poor student two. Now there's a couple of constraints to go along with this problem as there often are in these leak code style problems. The constraints are the number of students will be at least one and at most 300. Friends II will always be one. Friends IJ will be zero or one. And friends IJ will equal friends JI. So it goes both ways essentially. So you can see our sample input follows all of these constraints. Great, now let's break this down into steps and we can try and solve this just with a description using the English language. So first we need to treat this matrix as a graph representation where each student is a node and each direct friendship is an edge. We'll then need to perform a depth first search to explore each friend circle fully. Each time we find an unvisited student, we start a new DFS, depth first search, that marks all students in this new friend circle as visited. Depth first search or DFS is a search algorithm that's used to explore all of the nodes in a graph or a tree data structure. It's like exploring a maze basically. DFS dives as deep as possible into that graph before backtracking to explore all other paths. So imagine that you're at the entrance to a maze. What you do is you follow one path as far as you can go until you hit a dead end. And then once there you backtrack to the last junction, then you try a different path. So you repeat that process until you've explored every corridor and you've found the solution to the mat. So in a graph, these paths are edges and the junctions are nodes. DFS starts at a selected node and explores along one branch until it reaches the furthest node. Then it backtracks and explores the next branch, continuing this pattern until all nodes are visited. This method uses a stack, either explicitly with a data structure or implicitly through recursive function calls, and that keeps track of all the nodes that have been visited and which ones to visit next. So let's have a go at solving this problem then in TypeScript. First, we need to initialize the number of students with let n equals friends.length. So I'm going to do that inside this function that's been set up here to solve the problem. So here, friends is a square matrix where the entry at friends ij is one if student i is directly friends with student j and zero otherwise. So next we need to create an array visited with the same length as n. So we can do that like this. And then initializing all elements in there to false. This array will help us keep track of which students have already been checked when we do our DFS. We also introduced a variable called circle count, which is initialized to zero. That variable will count the number of friend circles as we discover them. So now let's create an inner function. This is gonna be for our depth first search. The function takes a student index as an argument and it marks all students directly or indirectly connected to the student as visited. So the function is gonna iterate over all other students. And if another student is direct friends, so friends student other equals equals one, and it hasn't been visited yet, so not visited other, then it recursively visits that student. Back in our main function, we loop through each student with four, let i equals zero, i is less than n, i plus plus. And if the student at index i has not been visited yet, this indicates the start of a new friend circle. We then mark the student as visited and we increment our circle count. And then we call DFSI to explore all friends within this new circle, marking them as visited. So this loop ensures that every student is either directly checked or covered through the recursive exploration of their friend connections. Once the loop completes, circle count contains the total number of distinct friend circles in that matrix. Finally, the function returns circle count and that provides the answer to our problem. So the total number of friend circles in the given social circle network is circle count there. 
Through this method, fine friend circles effectively and efficiently determines the number of separate groups of directly or indirectly connected friends. And he uses this depth first search by doing the recursive function. Then just to check this works, let's add the data from that example um, that we had at the start, and then log the result of the function to the console, which should be two according to our sample input. So I hope you were able to follow along a bit with this explanation. If I went over any of this too quickly, or you'd like to know more about other searching algorithms, then please do pop a comment in the comment section below this video. I do try to read and reply to all of the comments I get on this YouTube channel within a week or so, because I really appreciate all the support that you folks give me here on my channel. So until next time, my name's James Charlesworth, and this is Train to Code. Why not check out this video next?